so hello everybody welcome back I hope that you like this um, series you might want to watch it from the beginning and um, today we will be talking about um, food sex and um, pedophile or or um, those kind of uh, topics uh, and um, how that will also relate to poverty and religion at the same time and so grab your coffee and if you wanted to share one with me links for that down below now <clears throat> we have been talking about the relationship between food and um, culture and at the same time you know um, how people will interact with each other because food is never about food and um, it, it's it um, some of these uh, topics you can uh, see through social research that has been made and um, you know even psychological studies and things like this and even statistics I have mentioned before that um, if you do not have enough fuel in your body as in you know you don't feel satisfied in your body you know because of you know several things like you're hungry or um, you know you you might be injured or something like this then your thinking will will change entirely towards survival mode as in short term right now and this will decrease your intelligence overall and so uh, you know I have mentioned for example that if you um, are going to uh, judge in trial judging trial situation and the judge have not eaten you know the judge is hungry and things like this and so he's going he or she is going likely going to try to get uh, the process done with it faster which means that uh, they might uh, do different kinds of conclusions and different kinds of punishment and all of these things based upon that rather than just uh, the same circumstances but uh, without you being hungry the decision will be different and so you know it, it's not the same it's kind of like when you are l let's say that you have somebody that you know told you hey I would like to you know go and do this and then I will stay over your house you know uh, on Friday for example and then you know you're kind of like no I'm tired or no my wife doesn't want you here or stuff like this but this person um, you know keeps trying and trying and then he does something throughout the day to make you uh, sleep less or even you know go hungry or stuff like that let's say that day on Friday rather than calling you you know at 5 p.m. or something like that he calls you at 11 p.m. you know and says hey I'm already at the door at your house you know and stuff like this and so because you are tired by the way when you're hungry you are also tired one way or another one uh, you will very likely say okay 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 I, I can't deal with you right now you know so your mind will go I can't deal with this because I have to deal with my body I'm too tired I am too hungry I am in too much pain or whatever it is or I am focusing on something else and I don't have time to deal with these things so you are likely going to conceive in a lot of things that you will not conceive otherwise and therefore food is one of those things if, if you need to understand that one because let's say that um, you are uh, you know saving money and therefore you know you are doing a lot of things to save money but you are hungry one day and you go near a mall and there is a, a lot of smells like fresh bread or pizza or whatever and you go through there and you spent all the money that you saved in that pizza that particular moment despite the fact that you were saving and working your you know working a lot 
during the whole month just to save that money and then you just destroyed your goal and your work for one month you destroyed entirely because now you spent all the money in the pizza even though that you have your house one hour away from you why well because you are now experiencing the energy of being an idiot now I have mentioned this before in like a thousand videos you being an idiot does not mean that you're uh, that you know that you are stupid or something like that you being an idiot means that your energy is out of whack and the reason for that is because you can't focus and you can't do anything the reason being you are not able to concentrate properly that might be because you are hungry, because you are in pain, or because you are in an emotional turmoil. So, for example, let's say that, you know, you are the best lawyer ever, but you went um, fighting with your wife this morning. And I have mentioned this before in the video about, you know, how idiots are made. Um, that day you will have very likely you will have a car accident you will screw up in court you will forget the papers at home and then you will not have them when you need them in the court you might not even be dressed properly you are doing a lot of mistakes that are that are not even a rookie will make and the reason for that is because you are experiencing being an idiot now, men do have a tendency to do this more frequently than women. And the reason being that men, you know, are very simple. They're kind of like yes or no, you know, kind of like that. They, they go to one mode to the other one. Women, in the other hand, are kind of like, no, we are all kinds of modes at the same time. So, so you know, if, if, if one thing doesn't work, we still are working on, you know, other 19 things at the same time. So we are like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we might, you know, be kind of like we can't coordinate for a second, but we still are not going to forget the 19 things that we have in our heads, you know. So, and in fact, we might now even have more things that are happening in our heads, which means that we might go crazy. So we have a tendency to do that because of our brain. And so at this point, if men are, you know, their brains are, are set up sort of like that, yes or no, and your brain works differently from a woman, and at the same time, you, the man, are in charge of protecting every single person in your household, and you are hungry, and you have to make decisions, what do you think is going to happen when you're hungry and you need to concentrate now rather than in the long term and in the short, in, in, even in the medium term for your whole family? See, it, you, you know, there is a reason why men are, are idiots. That's because uh, that allows men to be the best protectors ever. Because let's say that you have to pick, uh, you know, right now something that will save you right now, but it might destroy you later. You can deal with later, later. But if you are dead now, you're dead, you know, sort of like that. So men are the ones that are meant to deal with all of the consequences and all of the decision making because of that. Because if it was meant for women, women might be still arguing with each other or still arguing with other people while we're dead, you know? And we might even complain that we are dead because we took too long, you know, and things like this. And so, Men are in charge of providing the food. Men are also in charge of taking the decisions related to food and money. And therefore, if they have the idiot energy all over the place and something went wrong, what do you think is going to happen medium term and long term with all the decision making? If it was a woman, a woman will go, oh no, we're not doing it. I don't care, we will starve to death. Men will be like, Oh, no, 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 we are not doing that. We are not dying. We are going through hell. Uh, and then, you know, men will be able to open up opportunities where, where, where women cannot see them. And that's because um, they are idiots. They will be like, they, they don't care about being a jerk. They will be kind of like, I don't care what you think about me. We are doing this, period. And they will take charge. And that is why, you know, they need to do this. It's not a bad thing. 
men be being like that is not a bad thing. It's just that they have to understand how to manage this energy properly. Because if you don't understand how to manage, you know, it's like when a woman goes crazy. A woman needs to understand when and how she can go crazy. Because otherwise, she will lose it and then she will, she will go mentally ill. The same thing here. Men need to understand how to handle that. Because otherwise, you will screw over your entire family because you don't understand how your brain works. And so let's explain the, now that I have explained the, the main thing, let's explain what, you know, the time period and then how this is affecting everybody. So <clears throat> let's say that, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, 300 years ago, 400 years ago, a thousand years ago, it doesn't matter. Let's say that there is a, a village and in this village, you know, uh, you, the man, are supposed to take care of, of course, your wife and, of course, you know, uh, all of your offspring, okay? And um, there is famine all over. Seriously, there is, there is just famine all over. And therefore, you, at this point, I can tell you right now that the kids in your head will care nothing. Seriously. Men will worry about the kids but their main priority will not be the kids. I'm sorry, uh, even if you are the best dad in the entire planet, your priority is always going to be your woman. The reason being, you know, if something happens to the kids, you can still make more kids with the woman. And not only that, but if something happens to your woman, you, are not going to have to fight uh, whatever it is that you're doing, fighting, whatever, hunting. And at the same time, you're going to have to take care of the kids and you can't. And you can't divide these two things. You can't be at home taking care of the kids because now you have no wife. And, you, you know, if basically, if you lose a woman, you lose the kids. And you will die. The three of you will die if you lose a woman. And you know this. And... Like I said, you will be a jerk about it because this is about survival and this is your role. You are the one who is meant to say the truth. You are the one who is meant to uh, lead despite being hated for it. And that's why I keep saying that, you know, men are like the most noble creature ever. Because despite the fact that you know that you're going to be hated and you know that, you know, that, 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 that all of the things that are, that, 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 you know, adding to your shoulders, you still push through. And so this is very important. And so the woman, on the other hand, is sort of like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing anything without the kids. No, but my kids are my priority. And the man is like, no, you and me are the priority. Our kids can make it if we can make it. But if I don't make it, then you probably won't make it because who's going to hunt and who's going to do everything? And if you, the woman, don't make it, then who is going to take care of the kids? You know, so the priorities are entirely different. And therefore, because of that, you, the man, need to understand that you are not allowed to be an idiot in certain, in certain circumstances. No matter what, you really need to focus properly and in order for you to focus properly at this point you really really seriously need to consider the female part because otherwise you will be screwing over and then you will be bad i'm going to tell you why because there is famine and so you don't know what you're going to do Seriously, you just don't know what you're going to do. And then your wife keep ha keep, let's say that your wife has three kids and the three kids are girls. So you are a father for three girls, not boys. At this point, you, you are thinking, I have four females in my house and I have to take care of four females in my house. 
I could barely afford one, as in my wife. I could barely make it one. You see, females require more food. Females require more resources. Females require more time. Females cannot work the way that the boys will be able to work. If you have three boys, they could help you go hunting and things like this. But if it is females, they will get sick, they will get periods, they will get pregnant, they, you know, basically, they are kind of like a burden in a way. And I'm not saying this emotionally speaking. I'm talking like resources things. And therefore, you are now kind of screwed in that aspect. Okay, because if you have absolutely no money and nothing and, and, and there is a famine situation and there is no way for you to feed anyone in your house and now you have four females that need you, what are you going to do? And at this point, religion will show up as in men who have a little bit of, you know, more power or resources either because uh, they are you know, uh, they, they understand women better than you do, okay? Because you are a warrior that is always outside of, uh, outside of the house and uh, you probably don't understand a lot about community. And uh, you are developing yourself, so you're very strong and all of these things, but you don't understand femininity. And so, but there are men that understand femininity and therefore these men will go kind of like this. <clears throat> How about if you, you know, God doesn't want you to, to get rid of your, your girls and, and don't, God doesn't want you to, to die and things like this. And so, so far, you know, this guy is a man, so you might be a little bit, you know, kind of like, do I trust this guy or not? But, but then, you know, you kind of like said, okay, but I don't have a choice, you know, because what am I going to do? I can't let the four women in my house go to death because I can't fix it. You see, at this point, you, the guy, cannot fix this problem because there is no food, there is no resources, there is no nothing. And so you will grow into frustration and your frustration and your hunger, the two of these two things have drained you entirely. And so you will be thinking, if I can get food tomorrow and if I can get food today, then I'm okay. You will be focusing only on that, only. The reason being, you are a man and men are meant to do that kind of thinking, okay? Men are not meant to say something like, oh yeah, we can, you know, we can wait 10 years so that we can do something. No, men are not meant to do that. Women are meant to do that, men no. And so there is a man, you know, he says something like, oh, I'm a priest and I'm fine. And therefore, you know, um, and then you have somebody that is giving money to this priest and all of these things. And this guy says, God told me that uh, you should just tell your daughter to get married to this man because this man has money and this man has food. So how about you just marry her, you know? And that way, you know, if you, if you ask, you know, if you ask this man to take care of her, then your problems will be done. And at the same time, you will establish a relationship with somebody who is powerful. And if something goes wrong again, because, you know, uh, there is other kinds of situations, then you will be protected. So basically, you know, it's sort of like this religion's part will go, God is good and therefore there are men who are billionaires and saviors within men and, and you know, these people are, are, are here to, uh, you know, to make everything work out and therefore all we have to do is marry your daughters and sell them off. And men, at this point, like I said, they are jerks because that is how the energy works. And so it's not that they want to do it. Seriously, no man in his mind, in his right mind, will ever sell, you know, uh, their kids. But they don't have a choice. And because otherwise, you know, you will see them starve to death. And so at this point, you know, if you have girls who are pretty, you, you will suddenly have the attention from men who have money and 
they don't want to save you per se but because you know seriously have you ever seen a man you know like like men seriously that doesn't know anyone around them and go i'm going to go and save all the other men seriously have you ever seen that i mean unless you're a fighter fighter or something like that in a fire but let's say that you're in a party have you ever seen a guy say oh i'm here and i'm going to save everybody you know no a man will go i am protecting only my family kind of like that and my money and my resources are mine and mine and things like this because i'm territorial you know men are going like this, like this. so does this make any kind of sense that the guy that has money is just saying oh i'm going to give it all up and i'm going to protect all the other men does that make any kind of sense however they will do that because they want to get the kids they want to get the daughters they want to get your daughter and you don't have a choice and therefore at this point you know you the guy you know you do have a conscious all men i do not care how evil you are you have a conscious even if it is right there in a comatose state or something you have a conscious and so men will go kind of like Yeah, because let's say, let, I'm going to put it bluntly. If you go home and say to your wife, oh, I'm selling your, I'm selling your daughter, even though it's my daughter too, so I'm selling her off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Do you want us to go think that that woman is going to allow you? Oh, hell, for all I know, you know, she's probably going to cut your penis off if she can because you are not touching your, you know, your, your daughter or anything like that. However, however, if you phrase it the way that, you know, God says, you know, that this is okay and we are going to get something out of this, you know, we are going to be royal for all I know, you know, now we're going to be in, in, you know, with this man who is the lord of the land, a duke, uh, a duke or, 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 I don't know, a marquis or, or whatever it is, you know, the king or, or, or whatever, you know, he's so kind and he's going to help us out and he wants to marry us and this is a god's will because the priest says so and then the wife goes okay that makes sense god doesn't want us to be hungry and god is kind and therefore he sent us you know through the priest he sent us you know um yeah he sent us uh the help that we need and now we are even improving Because this man that has money, you know, he probably is going to offer a job to my husband and then my husband will be able to make things through and therefore everybody is happy. Yeah, except that you sold your daughter off. I mean, seriously, that's what you did. You can rationalize it, rationalize it whatever you want, but that is what you did. And the reason why you did it is because your energy was out of whack. You didn't do it willingly. It's not like you woke up and said, hey, I'm going to sell the, the, you know, my kids off. You, you don't do that. You, you did it because you don't have a choice. And, you, and now, at this point, this is not just you. This is, you know, another man goes to the priest and says, hey, I want to marry that girl or whatever. And then there will be a lot of people that will be using marriages and stuff like this to improve their social status so that they can help their woman, not even, you know, the kids, but their woman and things like this. And therefore, there will be a lot of things that will go wrong because at this point, you are forcing women to be a burden. You are forcing women to marry other people just because just because they were born and 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 things like this and the reason being that you the man were not able to overcome famine and you were not able to overcome anything the reason for that is because you were not a prepper very likely you know you did not prepare for an emergency and things like this by the way at this point you can blame women because for that The reason why preppers are failing is because the prepper community should not be the man. I'm sorry to tell you that one. 
but the role from God and the role from everything, the role that you're supposed to have is you, the guy, are supposed to be in charge of the family, as in the whole thing. Women, on the other hand, are supposed to be in charge of the home and the finances of the house. And so she is the one that is supposed to be preparing for winter, preparing for emergencies, saving food. She is the one that is supposed to be thinking, my husband can get sick. And if he gets sick, I still need to take care of everybody. And that is my job. Therefore, the community of preppers should be mostly women, not men. Men are meant to uh, gather more resources. Women, on the other hand, are the ones that are meant to, you know, manage all of these things. See, if you are a guy and you are buying food, okay? And then the hard times comes and the woman doesn't even know how to cook whatever you bought. Why? Well, because you are not in charge of the house. You are not in charge of the cooking. You are not in charge of anything. You know, you're not the one who is doing the woman's job. And therefore, you are messing up a lot of things. The reason being, you, ma you are doing the right thing, but you're doing it the wrong way. Because at this point, you need teamwork. You need both parties to agree. Also, let's say that, you know, you're thinking that this food is going to last you a month. But reality... Even if the woman administers the, this the best, it will last you one week. Why? Well, because you don't have experience handling a lot of the female things that the females gather and the females do. You, the man, are not the woman. You can't think 40 things at the same time if you are a man. You just can't. And so the woman is thinking, we need this for the kids, we need this for the cleaning, we need this for the cooking, we need this for the bathroom, we need this for, for the repairs, we need this and this and this and this and this and this and that. Men will go, oh no, all we need is that. Food, does it? What do you mean food? We, we, what about if we get sick? What about if we're hungry? What about if, if you know, what about if, if we are like, uh, like, 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 I don't know, uh, what about if we are tired? What about if we are cold? What about if we get, you know, what about if, if we have to leave? What about if we, you know, that kind of thinking, all of those things that make, will drive you entirely crazy, mentally ill kind of crazy and stuff like that and will make you become a, a freaking jerk is something that a woman does in a daily basis without having an issue about it. And so... You need both parties. And so if something went wrong, as in, you know, there were no preparations for emergency whatsoever, it was because a female that you chose did not understand her role or because you severely limited her. As in, she said something like, okay, honey, we need to prepare for winter. Let's, uh, you know, so I need you to hunt three times more, more, more food for the next three weeks, please. You know, if she doesn't say something like that, or she doesn't, you know, she doesn't understand her own thing, you probably will go kind of like, yeah, on winter, whatever, we can eat whatever. And then you won't prepare because you don't know. You don't know what, a, what the actual needs for an entire family are, okay? Even, let's say like this, right now, if you sit down with a woman, and you want to see a movie with her because whatever you can see that the woman will not sit down to see the, 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 the movie even though that you are at your house because she will be like oh wait i can't make the movie right now why well because i gotta go and you know do the laundry do the dishes do this do this and then you're like stop it let's just stop it those things can wait and this is going to be one of those things that you will that you will say that woman is crazy. Why, the, why, why can't you, you just stop and watch the movie? Yeah, that's because it, she's a woman. She just like, you, you, you have a different brain. Well, she can't stop and she will be doing 40 things. And so she is the one in, uh, to who is supposed to say, Honey, we 
are going through winter and I need you to please bring this and 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 this. And for all I know, you know, she might even make you a list of all the things that you're probably going to need for winter. If you did not have that, then how exactly are you going to pull this off? It's sort of like you don't understand something about a restaurant and you're thinking all I need to do is buy the food, hire the chef and that's it. You know, because all I needed on restaurant is the chef, the waiter, and that's it. No, because you will go broke in, you know, for all I know, you, you, you won't be able to even open the restaurant. Because managing the restaurant is not just you hiring the chef, you hiring the, the, the waiter, and then you buying the food. It's not that. There are a lot of things that, that are involved. And you as a guy, you know, if you're thinking that I'm going to pour money into this and then that does it, then you're going to fail because you need both parties to agree. And so women failed because we got complacent and then we thought that we could manage, but we didn't. So first, the first step right there was wrong. And then the guy is trying to fix it, but he can't because he doesn't understand that there is a lot of things that are unseen. So for example, he's thinking, God is helping us through this. No, it's not. You, there are a lot of things that are happening in which for all I know, that famine was artificially created by men in power so that they can buy everybody off and then you will become a slave. You, the guy, became a slave of men who have money. How? Huh. Well, they did it through the priest and they did it through, you know, the famine situation, which was not there and all of these things. And they are all manipulating you through the food because you're thinking, I, I, my, my, my daughter is going to be, you know, not hungry. My daughter is not going to die in, in, you know, of starvation or anything like that. And so I'm happy. And therefore, you did not get it. The reason that you did not get it is because the woman around you, your woman, was not, you know, she, she wasn't centered. If you have a woman who is centered, she will, she will very likely, like, 9 out of 10, she will be able to pull you off the, this whole thing and then, you know, she will clear all of your path. And for all I know, she might even gather knowledge with all the, all the women around and then she will make things so that the, neither, no one in the family will go hungry. She will go, you know, gathering herbs. She will go, uh, you know, do agricultural things. She will do a lot of things with you. And if, if, if she can't because she's physically unable to, for example, you know, do labor or something, she will still tell you how other people are doing it and she will find a way out. Because if there is an emergency, you need to listen to her. But most men just don't. Don't, they, they don't because th there is a war here. Because a woman will see everything long term and you're thinking, we don't have enough food and we're going to die tomorrow. And at this point, you are right. And therefore, you are getting your way. The problem with that is that you just fell into a trap. So at this point, you, the man, are trying to be nice. And every single time that men try to be nice, they don't realize that they are becoming a slave of somebody else. And when that happens, the other person has the power, you don't. And the woman around you, she will understand this one way or another one and then she will be pissed at you because you did not be, you were not able to make things work together. You need the female part. There is a reason why we are different. And, and, and for this, you need planning. And you need the woman to absolutely be connected to the support system.
Because if a woman needs to understand how to overcome famine, she needs other women around that will tell her, hey, you know, there, was, there is somebody doing that, there is somebody doing this and this and this. She will gather information and then she will be key to, be, to make a baseline for everybody in, in your family. And at this point, she might need to take charge. You might need to step down. And men just won't do this. Men don't get it. Sometimes, sometimes, seriously, if you are going down, you need to be able to rely upon the female with you because she is not doing it because she doesn't trust you or because of whatever, but she's doing it because between you and her, who is the one that has the advantage in terms of systems, support, information, uh, things that are hidden, things that are connecting, managing 40 things at the same time? Who is the one who is supposed to be doing that? You? The guy? So stop, you know, I've mentioned this before, the reason why, uh, you know, the world is going the way it is going is because men are trying to be women and men are trying to manage 100 and I do mean 100% of things you can't handle 100% of things even if you I don't care if you are Superman you can't handle 100% of the things you're not God and there is a reason why you have a woman next to you. She also wants to help you. She also wants to be part of you. She also is important. Whatever she's doing is not worth it. it it's not worthless. Just because you can't see it. There are hundreds of thousands of things that you cannot see and they work because women are behind them. But most men don't get it. You need to breathe and work together. If you want to overcome famine and if you want to make better decisions based upon food and everything. And if you want to overcome the slavery of men, you need women. I'm sorry, but you need women. The reason being, every time that you are, are, are going down, because, you know, is the way that your energy works. She can help you. She can stop the fall and she can actually pull, push you up. And she will gladly do it because she trusts you. And that's why I have mentioned, you know, that there are uh, three things that women want. And one of them, you know, she wants to respect you. And if she wants to respect you, she also wants to be respected. If you do not respect the woman when she's handling the resources that you're giving her, and that means food and the home part, then what do you have a woman for? Seriously, for you, if you were going through a famine situation, it would be way better and faster and cheaper for you to just get sex if you need it through a hooker and that's it and get all the food for yourself you don't need a woman you don't need a family you don't need anything but at the same time understand this if you are always like this alone and don't care and you're becoming like a long wolf or whatever you will suffer a lot of consequences because your energy will be out of whack. There will be a point in which you now will become an alcoholic or a drug addict or anything like that, homeless, and you will be, you know, a person that everybody feels sorry for. The reason being that you lost the focus. You are meant to protect. You are meant to be the strongest in your team. You are meant to show strength and leadership and you are meant to do a lot of things and sometimes part of being a leader is understanding when and where to do delegations 
you need to do you know you know you need to say honey what do we need for winter i will go and get it i don't care how you're going to use it i don't care just tell me what do you need sometimes you need to work for her especially if she's handling the home if you don't then food will become such a bad bad horrible topic to talk about to the point in which you the guy sometimes in order to be able to protect the family you might even have to sell a kidney and i am not joking there are entire villages you know in which men have sold their kidneys because they needed money so that they can buy food for their wives but wives are severely limited because men who are in charge you know of, of this whole situation because they're the one who have money and the priests and everything like that they are also you know telling telling the priests and telling everybody else hey we can't have women you know uh, we can't have women uh following other men we can't have women doing this we can't have women doing that we can't have women let's let's you know let's have them at one house and then you know if she's at well, you know if she's supposed to be in charge of the home then let's just put her in the house and you know do not let her get out do not let her you know get in touch with other people do not let her get anything so basically you know you're cutting the woman from accessing her energy which is the support system which is talking to other people and doing a lot of things that you the men are not very likely going to do and therefore you just cut the woman and so now she's useless all she know, all she knows is how to cook and how to clean she doesn't know how to be a woman she doesn't know how to prepare how to be the planner you see men are meant to be planners but women are also meant to be planners it's just that we are not meant to be planners the way that you the men are meant to be planners women are meant to plan about the home meaning the hoguera meaning the fire the fireplace and the food you get it we manage it if we fail then I don't care how much you get. You, you are going to end up being a slave for for that woman and at the same time you are going to end up being a slave for other men who know how to handle their women. Because their women are you know are very good or because they have better resources than you. And they are going to be able to come up with the ones that is that are substitution that are substituting the women's energy are the priests. You see, whenever you have a problem, you know, let's say that you know, like I said, you were five hundred years ago, whatever. Who do you call? Let's call the priest. Oh, we have. Let's call the priest. Oh, let's call the priest instead of you saying, "Oh, let's call my girlfriends." Oh, let's call my mom. Let's call my family, my grandmother. Let's call grandpa. Let's call you know. Uh, Let's call the community leader. Let's call the teacher of the kid. Let's let's get you know. Let's get all these people. The community failed, and everybody failed, and it is because women do not know how to be women anymore. The reason being, men lost the battle against other men, and it's all because of food. Food was key to spread this kind of nonsense in which now men are selling willingly they are selling their kids willingly and now they are even defending the priest and the rich people the rich guy who is the savior of the whole situation and it's all because women forgot how to be women and men want to take over the woman's place and you shouldn't so how do we fix this well one you have to 
understand your own brain. Then you have to understand the, your partner's brain so that you can breathe and stop reacting just because your partner is completely different from you. And after you understand you and you understand your partner, then use each other's strength to come up with your own plan and then make it happen. See, when the two of you are working together to come up with a plan, this is key because you will be able to match it up, the energy. And if the two of you match it up, then all you need to do, you, the man, is make sure that it happens. Because women are very good with this part, but we are not very good at making that happen. Seriously, we, we use, we, 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 if we have to make it happen, it will take 10 years. But if you make it happen, it will take six months. So, no, seriously, at this point, you are the guy. Make it happen. And after that, you know, you will not have to worry about making wrong decisions or making rash decisions because you're hungry and because you are, you know, in pain and all of these things. But for that, make sure that your brain has proper fuel. So please, just breathe and realize that whoever is behind your food is the one that actually controls everything. And whoever is behind the food, very likely, is the one who is enslaving everybody else. And I do not care if they do it through money or religion or both. It is your responsibility to make sure that your family, if you are the guy, you are the one who is meant to get out of slavery. And make sure that your woman is out of slavery with you so that the two of you can make heaven. <laughs>